my very funny friend, Donnell Rawlings. I want to start off by saying I am not ashy anymore. If you didn't notice, I, no, I saw, I saw because I, I look in the cracks. That's right the here. most important part, right that, there. That's the cracks, and I was like, it's smooth. You fly, fresh, and fabulous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this audience is out of control. I don't know if people at home notice, but it's a complete dance party it during is. the breaks over here. It is. They was, they was out there milly wop, and I heard a couple people say ski the whole day. <laughs> look, they know. <laughs> we do, we had an energy, and that's why we're so glad you're here. I love it, thank you. Um, Donnell, I just gotta say, I loved you on Chappelle's show. Thank you. I love watching you. And I know you say, because you say you are not ashy anymore, but that's how we knew you. Oh, okay. that, that's disrespectful! Where's the producer who did this to me? That is the I old know. Donnell! I know, Donnell, but it was like, it was, that was so funny when you would do that. Do you? But do Let people... me tell you the backstory of that. Yeah. When I was on that show, if anybody ever noticed, I didn't really talk a lot. They were, if you take right. an editor and say how much time he spoke, it would probably fill up a timeline of like three minutes, right? Right. So I knew that any time they put the camera on me, I had to be funny without saying anything. Mm -hmm. Like the minute it goes on there. So in on this on the uh, in the script, it said a guy with boxers and um and uh, shoes on, right? Right. And I was younger, I used to shoot dice, and my mother would catch me. She was like, you been out there shooting dice? I was like, how you know? She said, look at your knees, they ashy, right? Uh -huh. So I said, I wanted to be so ashy with this character that <laughs> I could write how much money people owe me on the side of my leg. <laughs> and listen, and I didn't, I didn't tell Neil, I didn't tell Dave what I was gonna do, because they right. were like, that's a dumb idea. So I went to, shout out to uh, uh, Donnell, he was a makeup guy there. Yeah. I said, I need a lot of baby powder. And I said, give me a handful of baby powder. I didn't tell anything. So I'm walking around looking like Casper, the black friendly ghost, <laughs> right? <laughs> Look, I'm waiting for this scene, and I did like this. I threw the ash out, and it was history. And what I realized is that a lot of people deal with the ashiness in them, and everybody embraced that. The streets, yeah, everybody, the office, everybody, everybody. It. yeah, everybody. Ash, we. I yes. only want to look. Look, I only want to pull this sock down. It'd be a whole different story. <laughs> you don't be thinking don't, people see it until nah. you, you do cross your leg, and then you yep. see it shows. I'm moisturized from here. Everything else is ashy. You can believe that. <laughs> You know, one of the other besides the character, and I love you anyway, but I love your relationship with Dave Chappelle. Yeah. You know, and how did y'all, because you're so close, how did y'all become friends? Well, we were both, we both comics from DC. Okay. And Dave still has, um, oh, shout out Dave. to DMV. Everybody, feel as though, simple fact, man. That's a DC <laughs> language. But, um, we knew of, of each other, because he started probably four or five years before me. He started very, very young. Yeah. And one thing about it, you know, when you're from a city, people want to know who was before you and who was after right. you, right? So, and I came out the gate so hard. The first time I ever performed, I got a standing O, and I was like, I'm the man, I'm the man. And I was like, who is, who is made it? Who's doing it? And they would always say, uh, Dave Chappelle. And I used to get mad. I'm like, what is it about him? <laughs> right? And they was like, he's young. I was like, I can't do anything about that, right? Right. <laughs> and then it was like, he's smart, he's animated, and he's just that guy, right? And I was like, ugh, right? <laughs> and then he tells a story. He told this at one of my birthday parties. He said when he first, when he asked, when he would go to D.C., yeah. he would be like, who's popping in D.C.? Right? Yeah. And um, he said it was always a user suspect, Andy Evans, you know, the old school guys, Fat Doctor. But Dave said, but they used to always say, but there's this one guy mm -hmm. named Donnell Rawlins. And then Dave was like, ugh! The same thing. <laughs> so, but it was like, and then um, I, was, uh, I was doing it six months. I moved to New York, and then because, like, DC group of comments, we're a tight family. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You see somebody, you help them out, they need something. Yeah. And then our relationship uh, started then, and we had a relationship for over 30 years now. And so much so. Y'all are together on tour together. I mean, you always out there. Yeah. The one thing, just doing research on you, I did not know, and I know you, Donnell, I did not know that uh, you you are a Swifty fan. That like, you love I'm not Taylor. embarrassed to say that. I'm not embarrassed to say that. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm a Swifty fan, because everybody deals with mental issues, right? Yes. And the only way we get healed, uh, or we 
it comes back to us is we identify that we could possibly be the problem. Uh-huh. Right? So uh, her song, Anti-Hero, and here's my favorite part, it's me, hi. <laughs> I'm the problem, it's me. <laughs> and and, That's and it. the funniest thing, I do all type of shows, but the funniest thing, to be in front of an arena, and Dave provides this platform, I'm not selling yes. arenas, but he's giving me the platform, to be in a room of 20,000 people, and your black butt out there singing Taylor Swift, and you, they doing a cow call and response, it's the best thing ever. And they love it. And they love it, yeah. You know who else? You got the fans loving you being on tour with Dave Chappelle, but I'm telling you, ain't nothing like the love of your child. Now, your son, Austin, is eight years old. And I know y'all looking at... Look, look, this See, why... this is why he's gonna be better than me. He gets an all for anything. <laughs> and I and I think I think I'm an older dad, right? Yeah. And I, I'm an older dad. I think I uh, uh, identify as a mom. Does that make me transparent? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know. Like, I'm a man, man. Did you identify? But my my son, he knows it. The other day, I said, Austin, are you trying to make daddy cry? He said, it's okay, because if you cry, it'd be happy tears. I was like, y'all, uh, aww, aww. Uh -huh. But I'm an older dad, I'm an older yeah. dad. I'm like, somebody said I could win grandfather and father of the year in the same year. Well, you know, because he's eight years old, at eight years old, they like you. Like, when, like my Jeffrey, I had him at a later age, yeah. and he's 18. Half the time, he don't like me. Like, right. I, like I breathe, and he's like, why are you breathing? So, like, but I want to know, does your son, Jeffrey, does, he's funny, but he don't want nothing to do with what Everything I do. Everything that you sent echoes of what everybody's been telling me. Yes. Like, everybody's like, like these all pictures, they's like, you better remember those, because when yes. they, and I didn't know the age, and your producer told me that your son doesn't like you, and I was mm. like, at what age does it happen? I thought it was 13, maybe I got some extra years, but I'm already ready for him. Dad is not gonna be cool, mm -hmm. he's gonna be corny, don't pick me up from school, but until then, all I'm gonna do is make the most memories That's I can. That's it. That's it. And there's a particular reason for that, and this is no slight, my father passed away, about four years ago, right? I'm sorry. And my father chose a lifestyle that didn't give him the opportunity to spend as much time as he should with all of his kids. Right. I don't have anything bad to say about my father. I wish he was there more, but I got a handful of memories of things he did. And I was like, if I could keep those, and I, if I could have those memories, my son is gonna have just the, so the most amount many. of memories he can, and I love That's it. That's it. Oh my gosh. Donnell, I'm so glad you you made this a pit stop because I know you are out here. Donnell is performing at uh, the New York City Comedy Festival, and when you are there performing, I, what can we expect, Donnell? Well, you're gonna get unfiltered. You're not gonna get daytime TV. I can tell you that. All right. <laughs> you're not gonna get daytime. You will get real time. There's a quote that I use, and I use it on my Instagram. I said a joke could be too soon, but it never could be too soon for a funny observation. Yes. I do believe this is that comedy is gonna go back to you're gonna start respecting people for their voices, mm. what they want to say. Stop trying to stifle people. Oh, Just stop yes. trying to tell them what to do. And I, I will say. This is important. The New York Comedy Festival is great, but this is a big deal for me because on November 10th, I'll be taping uh, uh, my Netflix special. Yes. Uh, <laughs> produced by Dave Chappelle. And they always tell me, Sherry, uh, everybody say, she don't want her flowers. I respect you so much on your journey, and it's for different reasons. Oh. I gotta say this. Oh. This is a tough feel anyway for yeah, anybody. It is. And this is some real stuff I'm about to say. To be a black woman, to be a comic. That's why when I went to that dressing room and I saw Marsha Warfield's name, I was like, you doing it the right way. And I've seen you in clubs where you don't be playing like I'm a superstar. You be in the cut. When is it time for me to go to work? And when I go to work, I'm gonna go eat them up. And guess what? I'm gonna go to my other stuff. So as much as you don't like your flowers, I'm getting chills right now on what you accomplished and you're, 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 you're the blueprint. From you. I don't talk to people. You I know, know that. You don't talk to people, but I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there supporting you because you're I my brother, it. and I appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you for being well, here. Uh, one other thing, I'm gonna be at the uh, Virgi gonna... Virginia Funny Bone tonight and tomorrow. This is the last shows before I actually go take this special. I'll say, if you became a fan of me from HBO's The Wire, from Dad's the Barber on Pixar's, from The Corner, from BMF, if you see me do live comedy, you'll really become a fan. And, I, and I'm, I'm gonna second that. You have got to run to see Donnell Rollins. I, you make everything funny. <laughs> oh, my you. gosh. For more info on Donnell's projects, go to SherryShowTV.com. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time.